Welcome back to this Final Fantasy XIV Let's Play. You're Sambo, and joining us as always is Seraphis Thrawn, our physical level 7, rank 9 Marauder. And of course, if you joined us in the last episode, you'll remember that we were doing a bunch of single player storyline quests, and we made a promise at the end to do some actual crafting leaves and to take you through how they work. So here we are, we've made our way over to Camp Black Brush, and of course, you know where that is, north of Alder. That's our first little settlement that we've come to, which is sort of serving as as our quest hub if you like. Now the first thing you need to know of course when you're going to do a uh, a crafting quest is or rather a crafting leave quest is it does behave a little differently so let me try and explain this. Firstly let's hop into our journal and go through this again so of course we've got our regional leave quest now that's what we've been doing in terms of combat and gathering all right so you know things like mining fishing logging uh, any botany type stuff and of course all of the combat quests they are you know called regional leave quests for a reason that's because they're centered in a region and of course you know in order to activate them what do you do you have to walk up to an etherite crystal and you talk to the crystal if you like and of course you go initiate leave quest now, it will bring up one of the eight, in our, in our case, one of our eight um, combat or gathering leaves, all right? Okay, we know that. Cool. So, what about things like Culinarian and Weaver? So, how do we do those? Because, of course, if you look in our journal, down the bottom of the journal, we've got these things called local leave quests. And, of course, they're different to regional leave quests. Local because these ones are our actual production production leave quests. So, for things, again, like tailoring, uh, or weaving as it's called in this game, or cooking, or culinarian, um, or, you know, blacksmithing, or any of the production crafts in the game, they come under the local leave quest. Now, we did pick them up at the Adventurers Guild over in um, Uldar, and of course uh, the person behind the counter gave us those. And if we have a look at one, let's say, for example, we have a look at the tailoring one here, the first one on the list there, Mamodi's Cheap Chousers. You can see here that our objective is to create and deliver the following items. Hempen Chousers in the color of beige times five. Now, as a reward for those, we'll actually get some crafting materials, um, but it's um, saying that we need to be a weaver rank one, and the leave quest location is at Camp Black Brush. All right, so <clears throat> let's say we're going to do them. Let's actually, yeah, we will do them. The first thing, as you know, of course, that you want to do is you need to switch jobs or switch class. Now, currently, we're a marauder. It says so down the bottom, and of course, we're wearing our marauder's axe. Um, now, you'll remember if you go shopping and pick up all the tools for the different particular classes and professions, that's all you need in Final Fantasy XIV in order to change jobs. So all we need to do is go to our gear tab, and there we go, we click that, and we go to our main hand slot, as you know, and you click on it, and that will bring up in our inventory there any of the tools of the trade that we have for any other professions. And again, these are the ones that we bought from the bazaar in one of my earlier episodes. So in this case, we want to look for, what are we gonna do? We're looking for a rusty needle because we wish to be a weaver. We're gonna do a weaving um, leave quest here. So all we need to do is click on rusty needle, and there we go, of course, down the bottom it says you change your class to Weaver. And that's it, nice and easy. You can see there we've got our little weaving set stuck to the side of us, nice and simple. And of course, if we hover over our main hand slot there, it says that we've got a rusty needle equipped, which is a Weaver's primary tool. That's it, we are now all set, we are a Weaver. Now, one of the things about being in Camp Black Brush is that it is a crafting area. Now, how do we know that? It's because if we bring up our main menu, not only can we talk to the etherite, but you can see there there's an interaction called synthesize now synthesize is Final Fantasy 14's way of saying craft so if you're gonna start crafting you would actually start synthesizing that's what it's actually called now this is where a lot of people get really confused it's like well hang on how do I start an actual crafting quest because in this case once again if we go to our journal and look at this particular quest for our weaver here we have to create some hempen chousers. Now, you know, when you craft in Final Fantasy XIV, excuse me, 14, you actually need ingredients. And one of the great things about doing crafting leave quests is that the ingredients are supplied for you. So if we were just crafting of our own accord, we would actually have to have either bought or traded or collected or, you know, fought for the ingredients that we need for that particular recipe. But 
In order to be able to do the leave quest, what happens is they give you the ingredients for free. So yes, sure, at the end of the day, you don't get to keep the items that you make. So these hemp and chousters here, no, we're not going to get to keep them, therefore we can't sell them off at a bazaar or anything like that. But, of course, by doing the leave quest, we're going to rank up our lever, we're going to actually gain experience along here by doing the quest, and when we hand in the items at the end, we're going to get, you know, other rewards. We're going to get more crafting materials, we're going to get XP for our weaver, and we're probably going to get some gill as well. So, um, just to recap, if you want to do crafting on your own and therefore keep the items that you make, um, you are going to have to have the ingredients and indeed the recipe in the first place. And we'll get to that in a minute when we actually do the crafting. But, if you're going to do leave quests, and I highly recommend it when you're starting out a new profession, um, then you're going to have those ingredients um, set for you. But the big thing that confuses people here is how do you start the leave quest? Because, once again, if we get out of the screen, go up to the etherite crystal if we treat this like a normal leave quest here we go initiate leave quest you can see it's only got the combat ones here or the gathering ones where are the cooking and sewing ones they're not here no so what you have to do is you have to open your journal and have a bit of a read so for example in this case it will say um, la 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 we um, after noticing many of our customers would often drink profusely until they either spilled wine or retched all over their vestments Mamodi, which is of course our mentor back at the adventurers guild proprietress of the quicksand began stocking simple replacements that she could sell to the patrons after they finally rose from their drunken stupors to maintain her stock of the items she is constantly in search of weavers willing to travel to camp blackbrush that there's a clue of where you need to go and create pairs of hemp and chousers from the leftover supplies stored in gate warden lewd events supply tents that's your clue in other words, what we have to do is we have to, you guessed it, go over and talk to this guy, Ludovaint. And when we do, because we have these leave quests active in our log, it'll actually come up with an option. And you'll see, there we go, Mamodi's Cheap Chousers. So, you know, any leave quests that you are currently on, or that you have in your log that are available, will actually come up as a topic of conversation. So, again, it's very confusing. You don't talk to the etherite crystal you actually talk to the supply officer here all right so we'll select that you see here seraphis thralwyn i presume lady mamodi of the quicksand sent word of your coming and there we go it goes black because we're actually going to be given the items that we need now i shall inspect the items upon their completion do not take them far that's another clue so in other words once we've completed making or crafting these goods he's actually going to inspect them and believe it or not the quality of the items that we produce actually um, dictates the amount of the reward we get it's not just like um, crafting in other games where you just watch the progress go bar uh, bar go by and just hand in goods you actually have to um, try and get them of a decent quality because the better the quality the better um, the rewards you will get all right so we'll click on him and it says here you have received the required materials all right so just like i said if you're going to be crafting using a leave quest you're actually going to be given the ingredients that's so not going to cost you any money um, so they are the ingredients that will be put on a table for our crafting and i'll get to that in a minute so the all important things have been crossed off. Well, number one, we've switched ourselves to a weaver um, class by equipping the weaver's tool, which in this case is a rusty needle. We've gone and spoken to the local supply officer in order to initiate the quest and to get the ingredients that we need. All we need to do now is actually start crafting. As we, by the way, look around the beautiful world of Thanalan with the Thanalan theme music playing in the background, you know it's one of my favorites. How amazing does this game look? Seriously, folks. All right, so the big question, how do you start crafting? Well, that's what I said before. You open your main menu and you just literally click on synthesize. And we should crouch down. There we go. And that means we're now ready to start crafting. Now, this crafting window pops up. And fortunately, it's nicely ex uh, explained when you hover over these particular things here. Um, it says here, requested items. What does this do? Make preparations to synthesize items requested by a leave quest. So quite obviously that's going to be for us. And what's going to happen is when you hit requested items, it's actually going to place the materials that you need on this table. Now, I'm not actually sure whether it's called a table for real or not, but I like to call it a table 
because basically we place all the ingredients on here that we're going to need to craft this particular recipe whether you're doing it yourself or whether you're doing it with a leave quest now if you were doing it yourself you would actually have to grab those items out of your inventory and pop them there and of course you'd have to have a recipe that you are going to be guided by and by the way if we were cooking it would probably put things on there like oil water flour salt that sort of thing to make something like flatbread you would see all those ingredients appear there but it does say on this hover text here exactly what these buttons do. So once again, make preparations to synthesize items um, requested by leave, leave Quest. So quite clearly, we're going to actually use the Requested Items button for this Leave Quest. I'll go through the other ones though. Recipes, make, prepara uh, make preparations to synthesize a familiar recipe. And if I click that, you'll see a recipe window pops up, but I don't currently have any because we're a brand new um, weaver. We can um, click on the clear button, remove all items selected as synthesis material, so that would clear the table. And main hand button, begin synthesis using the primary tool in your main hand. So, requested items, this is going to draw the um, items out that we've been given in order to do this particular um, item for the leave quest. So let's hit that see here that it brings up the journal and says hey which leave quest do you want to do and of course in this case because we're a weaver we wish to do the Mamodi's cheap chouses which is what we spoke to uh, the gate warden over there about so let's click on that and what that will do is bring it up and you can see just like as if we were talking to the ether stone over there it's actually bringing it up and saying do we want to commence it um, yes we do, it's going to um, say to us the objectives are create and deliver the following items, hemp and chouses, beige times 5, and we're going to get cotton bowl times 5 as a reward amongst other things, and it's saying you need to be a weaver and you need to be in camp black brush, basically that's it, that's us, let's commence. And you can see here what it does, there we go, it's put the items that we need, the ingredients if you like, for this particular recipe on our table. Now being Final Fantasy XIV of course it goes into all sorts of incredible detail about all these pieces of um, gear that we've got here, the ingredients. And you can see here if we hover over it, it says this is a sandbaged hemp and cloth, several yarns of sandbaged hemp and cloth wrapped around a short wooden distaff. And you can see we've got sandbaged there, we've got two of them. We can also put mole, we've got mole brown and we've got lead grey. So obviously we're going to need these different colours to make beige. And then um, the final ingredient there, if you like, for our crafting is hemp and yarn. And of course yarn spun from moco grass fibre. <laughs> like I said, they go into all sorts of detail here. When you do cooking, they do the same thing. It has all sorts of incredible detail about the actual items that you use. And like I say, they're very realistic. If you were going to make yourself some hemp and chouses, this in, in the beige colour, this is probably what you would use. And um, the cooking is the very same. It's, the recipes are very realistic and oh my goodness look at the sky look at the lighting uh, that is just incredible isn't it all right so um, all we need to do now now that they're prepared and again they've been given to us we haven't had to buy those materials or get them out of our inventory or anything like that we can now click on the main hand button and that says begin synthesis using the primary tool in your main hand now before I do that um, just got to say that the crafting in this game like I said it's not just stand here and watch a progress bar come across. You're going to see a, a interface comes up which has a number of different elements. Now the reason I'm talking to you about it without showing you, which I know is a bit odd, is because it's timed. The first thing you'll notice is there's a little picture of a stopwatch and a bar starts counting down. That means that you really want to try and perform an action before the bar reaches the end of that particular turn phase if you like. So that's important, so that's why I can't describe it while we're going. There's another big bar across the bottom here you'll see and that is a progress bar. Starts at 0%, ends at 100%. The item is made, if you like, um, by a number of or a series of actions and each one of those actions will progress the bar a certain amount. Now um, what we aim to do obviously is get that bar to 100% so we can complete the items. That's fairly obvious. You'll then see underneath the bar there'll be a durability reading and on the other side there'll be a quality reading. Now this is sort of hooking into what I was saying before as the beautiful Thanalyn um, landscape turns into night. Look at that, isn't it amazing? Um, durability and quality. Remember when we spoke to this person here, he said, hey, once you've finished your goods, hand them back to me and I'll appraise them. 
that's where the durability and quality comes in so what we're trying to do by the way is we're trying to keep the quality up and you'll see it in the interface when I bring it up and we're trying to keep the durability up as well we're trying to stop losing durability by doing failed actions <clears throat> all right so remember that durability keep it nice and high quality we want as high as possible but we also want to get progress along as quickly as possible as well now the final um, part of the UI will be three different options that we can select for actually using a crafting action one will be now I'm not sure of the exact names it's been a while but one will be kind of like normal and basically that's a low risk um, crafting action and basically that is by the way it's a good way of putting it um, crafting in this game is risk versus reward if we take the stately approach of just using standard 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 the whole time it's gonna slowly um, progress the bar but we're gonna lose durability and quality now there will be two other options there and I forget what they're called one of them is normally called bold something I think and basically that gives you a chance a high risk chance of increasing the quality of the item now the risk you take when you use that particular action Action is that you may actually fail the action and you'll see that by um, it exploding it'll turn red and make a boom sound if you like that means you failed the action and you run the risk of losing a lot of durability and quality at the risk of actually progressing your bar faster and the final option will be one that actually will allow you to progress the bar quickly so you can either progress the bar quickly or try and force quality or just do a nice normal craft and again risk versus reward so let's click main hand that will kick us off and you'll be able to see here here we go the finished product will be hemp and chousers which by the way are pants um, and you can see all the stats for it there that we're going to make um, it will obviously uh, um, here we go repair materials recommended skill is tailoring training which is what we have and this is the interesting part required crystals are earth shard and you can see here that we've actually got 45 of them in our bag now this is a material that's used in um, crafting to try and enhance the uh, the crafted item that you're making and I think it will actually help you in terms of getting the quality up and having a higher success right net uh, rate now how do you get these shards well that's through normal questing uh, and also gathering and also fighting monsters if we were to look at our inventory right now and we'll do it at the end of the episode you see there are various tabs in it one of the tabs is crystals or shards and if you go into that crystal tab you'll see that you've probably already picked up a whole lot of earth fire wind shards and crystals and all sorts of things just through doing other leave quests and hunting in general and also getting them as rewards from other other quests so you can see this is kind of like a big feeding circle what you want to be able to do is actually you know doing the other quests which gives us these shards which allows us to use them in crafting it's like a vicious circle anyway let's hit select and off we go and you'll see we'll pull out our needle and thread there it is and we'll zoom in a little bit there and here we go here is the interface I was telling you about here's the clock counting down standard rapid and um, um, bold I'm going to choose standard synthesis and there you go you can see that she's uh, jiggling away there doing it and here's our progress meter you'll see there we go and that was successful um, you use standard synthesis the attempt succeeds I'm just going to use it again progress increases by 13% quality increases by 5 all right and there we go now our progress is up to 30 and our quality has increased by nine and our durability is nice now it's being nice to us at the moment possibly because it's our first crafting so you can see this is far from um you know an easy task and look at that we've got our um, actual progress increased by lot but our durability decreased by five and our quality increased by eight so again standard synthesis synthesize in a normal manner if I hover over rapid synthesize with an emphasis on efficiency so I'm going to click that that should give us a big progress boost but a big risk of lowering our durability and our quality you can see it failed there progress increases by only seven percent and our durability increased by 15 which is nasty I'm just going to try standard synthesis to play it safe if this durability gets down to zero it fails the item breaks so we don't want to do that then we got a nice big um, boost in progress there we're up to 85 percent progress I'm just going to use standard again our durability actually increased in that um, decreased by eight percent but our quality increased by one there we go we got um, one look at that it was horrible we're 90 percent of the way along and you can see there's a lot of pressure on because you're under time pressure and you're also trying to keep the durability up and the quality up and there we go it actually made I'm gonna hit finish a hempen chouses there we go we made one of five Woo. 
It's exhausting folks, you can see it's just not a game of watching the progress bar go along. So I hope that made sense to you. You're trying to keep durability up, but you're also trying to get your progress across, but you're also trying to pump quality. Because remember folks, we will actually be appraised on the quality of these. Now, look, we're at the beginning, It's gonna they're all going to be rubbish anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But the it's not just about delivering them in numbers, it's about delivering them in quality as well. And you can see here, the appraisal of your synthesized items, I'm reading in the uh, chat log here, the appraisal of your synthesized items increases by 7. Alright, so at the end, this guy is actually going to appraise us, he's going to mark us, give us a score, and that will actually determine how much and how great a quality of a reward that we do get. So, um, you know, you're always trying to balance off between progress um, durability and quality. So again, risk versus reward. Now, we've got enough materials given to us here to do six more attempts and we need four more pants. So let's do it again. High pressure stuff here, folks. And of course, the other thing is we gained 1,040 experience points as well. And you can see here, Weaver rank one, we're nearly into rank two. All right, so synthesize in a normal manner. Let's see what this says. Synthesize with an emphasis on efficiency or bold. Synthesize with an emphasis on quality. Let's do that. Let's try and bump the quality up. So durability is 103, quality is 19, progress is 18%. We only progressed 1% there. That was terrible because the attempt failed. You can see it. It's glowing red. It went boom. And we actually lost 23 durability in that case. So we took the risk. We didn't get the reward. We actually lost lots of durability. And again, it's down to 72 already. Quality is 21. I'm just going to use standard because we're not a very skilled crafter we're not a very skilled uh, weaver I'm just gonna play it safe here and that even failed then our increase in progress was 8% but our durability decreased by 12 that was a little bit better um, our quality increased by 1 you can see our durability is going down 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 you've got to sort of start thinking about all oh, that failed 33 down it's um, and in that one turn it decreased by 14 we're 80% 85% oh look we've only got one durability hit left and we're only 85% of the way through we can't afford to make it make a take another durability hit oh we're down to three let's use standard again we've really got to play it safe will we make it to the end here or will we fail will we fail 100% we made it thank goodness for that we ranked up and that is whoo <laughs> that was high pressure folks you can see, oh no no wait a minute we didn't look synthesis failed so we've currently only got one of five. We still managed to get 189 cloth craft skill points, which took us through to um, rank two weaver. Hopefully that means we'll actually be able to do this this time without failing. I think my mistake was trying to be a bit smart up the front and trying to go for a bold synthesis. Let's just stay standard for now. See what happens. So we start out at 101 durability, quality 12. We didn't lose any durability then. That was good. We got 15% of the way through in terms of progress. So we're not doing too badly. We actually lost 5 durability then, but we are up to 30% progress. So you can see it's this constant balancing act here between durability and progress. Let's do rapid because rapid actually will scoot the progress bar along a lot faster. But again, high risk. And it did. Look at that. It scooted it all the way along to 69%. But we did lose um, some durability. We lost 11 durability, but it paid off because even if we miserably fail here, we're hopefully not going to lose out on our durability. We are going to make it through to 100%. Let's try another emphasis on efficiency there. Try and get that bar to the end because, boy, we took a big whack, <laughs> whack of durability there. 18. Oh, no, and that failed as well. We made no progress, but we lost durability um, by 23. We're down to 21. And thank goodness, look at that, we made it with... Um, nearly 12 durability left there, 19 quality, let's finish that one off. Whew, that is rough. We've only done two of five, let's do another attempt there. So our appraisals aren't going to come out too well. We're going to have um, really bad quality. Let's do a standard synthesis, and of course we're always under pressure here, this clock ticking down. Um, so it's um, high, high pressure. Oh god, we made terrible progress then, only 5%, and we lost 17 durability. We can't afford to fail anymore because we need to deliver five and we've only got um, enough materials for three more and of course we need to do three more and you can see there it flashed red that was terrible as well 
Um, we failed miserably. That one's okay. Got us up to 45%. I'm just going to play it safe here. I could go for a bold or rapid, which is going to try and um, scoot that progress bar along. But we're doing quite well. We've still got 54% durability. We're up to 62% progress as she wriggles away there. Oh, and that one failed. We're down to 42 durability. Oh, see, it starts getting nail biting here, folks. And we're under the constant pressure of the ticking clock. Up to 86% of progress. Down to 37 durability. Quality is down to 31%. There we go, 100%. We managed to finish it um, and not lose out that time of course and we ranked up again how good's that but of course our quality is going to be horrible we've got three of five two more pairs of pants to make are we going to get through this i've got a horrible feeling that we may actually fail the leave quest totally and of course that's not unusual when you're starting out don't be too dismayed if you do actually fail it's almost i think designed uh, to do that to sort of um, try and um, you know get you into the habit of the fact that it's not just a wham bam thank you man crafting process you really do have to think about it and of course later on you're going to want to really focus on these quality stats we'll try a bold um, synthesis here to try and get the quality up because we want to make it worth our while we want, we want to get better and more of rewards and that failed miserably there Quality, durability decreased by 21 and our progress only increased by 1%. Will we make it through to the end? I'm going to play it safe now. Just do some standard synthesizing to get us across the finish line at the end there. Quality is 38. Durability is 42. 96% progress. Will we make it? We did and look at that. That's quite good. Our quality is actually up to 43. Durability is 38. Let's finish off there. We've now got ourselves 4 of 5 and I think that one was appraised quite well, hopefully. Lucky last, we've got 2 attempts remaining only one more pair of pants to get so again we've got materials for two attempts because they were given to us by that quest giver over there that's how it works all right let's see how we go this time progress 16 percent i'm just going to stick to standard synthesis here try and keep things safe you can see it's glowing red there that doesn't normally mean good things but okay we're okay will i take the risk and try and keep the quality up i'm going to try and do it we're on quality of 12 i want to try and bump that up and it worked, look at that, our quality's gone up to 21% and our durability decreased by 12, progress is at 45%, but at least we bumped up the quality this time, um, very exciting stuff, quality's gone up again to 28% and we lost no durability that time and our progress moved along, so very happy about this so far, let's try another one here, um, no actually I'm not going to, quality is at 36, durability is only decreasing by 4, down to 73, we're doing well, 85% progress, we're doing very well here, quality's 36, durability is 61, will we we make it to the end of this particular one we did and look at that we got um hopefully a really really nice appraisal on that one and we're done do we want to continue on we've completed the quest there now normally folks what you'd want to do because you've been given these materials again you're not having to go out and spend your hard-earned money or energy buying them my recommendation is that you keep um, crafting until you've run out of materials because basically it's a free offer to you in order to um, rank up now, in the interest of time, we're nearly out of time for this episode, I'm going to say no. Don't say no, though. Use the free materials that you've been given. So you can see here, we come back to the screen. How do we actually complete this? How do we stand up? All you do is hit cancel. That cancels the current synthesis mode. And there we go. You'll see that we'll stand up. And now all we need to do is actually go over and hand in or talk to our quest giver, <coughs> or rather the gatekeeper here at the camp. And you can see it's an option here. Mamodi's cheap chousers. That's what we want. This will suffice, he says. Thank you, Seraphis. I believe Lady Mamodi uh, will also thank us when she receives her order. Here is your reward. And there we go. The familiar Final Fantasy fanfare of a quest complete, if you like, a um, leave quest complete. And let's have a look down here. You can see here, like I was saying to you before, it actually says your reward is actually... Um, oh, where is it? Here we are. Your reward is based on a performance rating of 26. So just as I said, you need to be able to actually try and hand in as high a quality as you possibly can. Um, and you can see that it makes a big difference there because based on that particular performance rating, we've obtained five cotton bowls. We've actually got back two earth crystals. So even though we were kind of complaining that we have to use them as crafting materials after collecting them up in our inventory, and I'll show you that in a minute, um, we do actually get two back. So that's nice. We also got 161 gil. And most importantly, we actually obtained, obtained a recipe. You can see here we obtained a recipe for a hempen half robe bax, and that's gray color. We also got our first materials, three bolts of lead grey hempen cloth. And we also got another material here, one spindle of hempen yarn. 
So, um, you know, not only is it worth doing the leave quests for the um, experience that we get in terms of ranking up our weaver, but of course we also get gill, we get the materials, and we get um, um, all the items that we can use to actually craft ourselves. So, and speaking of which, if I go into our inventory here, this is what I was talking about. You can see here's our normal inventory, but in the tabs along the top here, one of them is called crystals. So that crystal one there, yeah, that's where you collect crystals from doing quests, getting a reward from quests and killing monsters. Sometimes they drop crystals. And you can see here we've got fire shards, fire crystals, earth shards, earth crystals, wind crystals, and ice shards, and we will be able to use them in our crafting recipes. Phew, so there you go folks, that is a um, crafting 101 for weaving. What we'll do next time is we'll actually do a cooking one, because culinarian it's also exciting. Of course it's a lot um, totally different materials and also the different objectives. And in fact if we look in our journal you'll see that, uh, whoops not our inventory, silly Sambo. Look in our journal here, um, you can see what have we got here, tender victuals, what's this? This is a, a culinarian, <clears throat> so here we go. It's saying create and deliver the following items, raisins times 12. So we'll be um, doing totally different recipe. Uh, exposed to the elements, what's that one? That's another weaver quest, um, and that's often camp dry bones, so that's different. But one thing you'll notice is that when you actually do a um, local leave quest, in this case we did the cook, uh, the um, weaving one, you see it's actually disappeared now from our log. So once you do them they disappear, you have to go back to the Adventurers Guild to pick up more. So what we'll do in the next episode is once again we will do, uh, where are we, here we go, the cooking one. So you'll be able to see us get out our, um, our skillet, which is what you use if you're a culinarian, and you'll see that the ingredients are, are a lot different, but the basic synthesis uh, process remains the same. Anyhow, that's enough. That's for the next episode. So I certainly hope you enjoyed that one. Just recapping, go buy yourself a tool, i.e. a, um, in this case, a rusty needle or a weathered skillet from the bazaar. Equip it, go to the Adventurers Guild, pick yourself up um, from the counter one of these uh, local leave quests, which are different to the regional leave quests. It's a different NPC that gives them to you. Come to where you need to go to. It's in, listed in your log. Go talk to the NPC. Do not talk to the etherite stone. And then um, and basically initiate synthesis and you'll be able to actually use the requested materials there in order to start your crafting. Make sure you're trying to keep them as high quality and high durability as possible, um, but um, not at the expense of actually failing the recipe because the durability gets down to zero. And that's it folks, there you go. So, certainly hope you enjoyed that episode on crafting, on um, uh, weaving in this case. Certainly hope, of course, that you'll join us for the next one as we do some culinary and, and cooking. More importantly, I certainly hope you're having a great day. And so, therefore, on behalf of myself, Sambo, and the wonderful Seraphis Rawan, it's me saying take care, we'll see you next time, and bye-bye. <laughs>